Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today, I'm going to answer a very important question. A question I received tens of times, maybe 100 times. I'm not kidding. And the question was, um, can we set up express keys and pen side buttons on Microsoft OneNote? And the answer is yes, we can. I finally find a way to do that, guys. And in this video, you will see how you can do that. Let's get started. <music> First of all, let's open OneNote. And if I search OneNote on my Windows 10 computer, um, there are two results, right? I am going to use, guys, OneNote, not for Windows 10, um, not for Office 365. It is just OneNote or OneNote with the year. Maybe you have like 2013, um, 2016, choose that one. And here is OneNote guys, and if I do full screen, so you realize that it's really hard to read all these tools, right? So um, side buttons and express keys will be really, really helpful. I'm going to use Huion Inspire Dial, and this is Huion's pen software. And you can do the same with XP Pen, Wacom, I don't know, like any other brands, because they work really similar. I already assigned some functions here guys and you see um, it is written there with the alt key. Um, yep, let's start using first and then I will show you how you can do that. So I'm gonna write something here and I assigned an eraser on the upper um, side button. So let's try this. And if you double click this, you have to double click by the way. If you double click this, you see it gives me an eraser. <laughs> that is great. And uh, the first express key I assign as a pen and if you double click it opens all the pens and you can choose one and continue writing. It doesn't give you the pen directly so you have to choose one. And the other uh, pen button I assigned as a middle click so yep this is how it works. It is pretty useful guys and if you want to assign the same guys continue watching. Now, when you go to OneNote, Microsoft OneNote, and when you press the Alt key, and you realize that the shortcut keys appear on each ribbon, right? And we usually use draw tools in our lectures, so I'm gonna press D. So Alt key plus D opens the draw ribbon. And then you need to choose what you want. So there are um, erasers, pens, different shapes. If you press E, and an M, right, it gives you a middle size eraser. So this is the shortcut for, for the eraser. Uh, Alt key plus D and then E and then M. So you see it is already assigned um, on my pen side buttons. And I also assigned the middle click option here, guys. It's called uh, the hand mode. It is Alt key, D and H. So it works great. And then let's talk about express keys. You can put whatever you want. There are eight express keys on this tablet plus the wheel. So let's go back and check the pens. Now it's supposed to be Alt key plus D plus P. So you see it opens all different kinds of pens and highlighters at the same time. And you can press this and then choose what you want. And also there are some shapes tool here. Alt key plus D plus S gives you the shape. Let's assign shapes buttons at the end. So you have to clear the string and then close this too. And then um, press D and S. It's assigned. Let's check this out now. So if you double click, it opens the lines and shapes tool. You have to double click by the way, the first click activates the alt key and then, then the second click activates the tool you want to use. And uh, you can do more of course. You can also assign zooming in and zooming out. It is pretty cool guys. You should definitely try this. Alt key plus W and E is zooming in and zooming out is guys alt key W and W. So let's try this. Oh, it is it is super cool, guys. If you have a dial, you can definitely assign it there. If you don't have a dial, you can assign it any button you want. It zooms in and zooms out. That's great. You can go to Microsoft OneNote and press Alt key and then D and you can see all the functions there. Just choose it, assign it, and it will make your life easier. Okay, this is how you can set up your express keys on Microsoft OneNote and hopefully the video was useful. And uh, keep asking me your questions guys, you see I record videos according to the questions I receive and it's important for me.
that's it for today if you have any questions again comment below and let me know i'll be with you in another video about online teaching keep watching mathematics goodbye